Ryan Brown again, and today we are going to talk about how law enforcement officers can turn one blunt into two felonies or maybe even more. That's right. So we're talking about one blunt, objectively a misdemeanor amount of marijuana here in Georgia if you possess it, but the story doesn't end there. Law enforcement officers routinely turn misdemeanor amount of marijuana, misdemeanor amounts of marijuana into felony charges. How do you do that? You may be asking. Well, the first foremost, the overwhelming way that they're able to do it is that the suspect begins talking to them. No, it, people talk themselves into more trouble every single day. And uh, a, a typical example of that is there may be a traffic stop or a warrant uh, served on a home where perhaps only a small amount of marijuana is found. And the, the officer will accuse someone of bad behavior or illegal behavior. I don't think it's bad is a different different discussion, but illegal behavior, saying, hey, Billy, I know you've been uh, selling marijuana out of your house, or you've been selling marijuana out of your car, haven't you? And the suspect, freaking out, thinking that he's under investigation for something, starts to talk, which he should never do, because he has the right to remain silent. But he starts to, and that reminds me, the golden rule, don't talk to the cops, come get one of our koozies. But when the officer accuses this suspect of some illegal behavior, for instance, selling large amounts of marijuana or something, the natural reaction from a suspect is to say, no, 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 and a lot of times what's next kills them or gets them into more trouble. The next thing they'll say is, I only sell, sell to my roommates. Okay, the problem with that is that person has just admitted to the distribution of marijuana, a felony, okay? So while they may only have be in possession of what is suspected to be a misdemeanor amount of marijuana, the cops accusing them of moving bit of moving weight, when they say I only sell to my roommates or I only share with my roommates, they've just admitted to possession with the intent to distribute that marijuana amongst their roommates. And if you think the if you think the cops won't charge somebody with that, you're wrong. Okay? Along the same lines are, if you slip up and say, no, 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 I've only sold to my roommate this one time, that's a sale of marijuana. And law enforcement officers will charge you with the misdemeanor possession of marijuana, the sale of the marijuana to your roommate, and then the possession of the marijuana with the intent to distribute it among your roommates, and they'll do that for all three. And it's not just leafy marijuana, they'll do that for anything. They'll do it with carts, they'll do it with dabs, they'll do it with any other drug, okay? All drugs are still illegal in Georgia. Cops will pile on the charges at any turn they get. So the best way to stay out of that is one, don't, do, don't possess marijuana. Two, if you get pulled over or if the cops show up at your house, do not talk to them because you're going very possibly to end up admitting to a crime that is way more serious than anything you ever intended. So by stacking those charges, by making a, a, a blunt turn into sale, turn into possession with intent, a lot of times it's only because of the words the suspect has said themselves. So be careful out there. Don't possess illegal drugs. You can always visit us at our website at jryanbrownlaw.com. You can text us at 470-635-1725. We're always available to help.